Number one, we have Sarah Dessen. These are all Sarah Dessen books that are in my house. None of them are actually mine. They're my sister's. But, um, I really should probably read Sarah Dessen because they've been trying to get me to read Sarah Dessen for as long as I can remember. There are three main reasons I have never read Sarah Dessen. The first being my sister really likes Sarah Dessen and my sister and I can't agree on anything. In fact, anything my sister likes, I am bound to hate. Reason number two. A lot of my friends in high school were trying to get me to read Sarah Dessen. However, they would say, you will really like this book, and then they would proceed to describe the book, naming everything that I hate in books. There, and the third reason is really, there's always just been something I've wanted to read more. I do, however, feel it's getting to the point where I can't be like, yeah, don't like Sarah Dessen, when I haven't read anything by her. So, really, I need to read her, if at the very least, to be able to say I don't like her. Um, cause really just getting an opinion about her as an author based on the summaries of books given to me by people who I don't really appreciate their reading preferences for anyway is not really a good way to go about it. Also, the people who recommended Sarah Dustin to me are the same people who recommended Twilight and that didn't go over so well. Reason- or uh, author number two! Neil Gaiman. I haven't read anything by Neil Gaiman, um... I mean, I'd heard the name before, I remember Coraline being a very popular book when I was in elementary school, but I hear a lot of people on booktube talking about him all the time, so I figure I should probably give him a chance as well. Um, probably reading Coraline, because that's the book I remember the most. Or I think it's the Graveyard book, also sounded really interesting. Four, sorry, three, I can't count. Three, um, or Tolkien. I read... This is a bit of a cheating one. I read a little bit of Tolkien. I read the first paragraph of The Hobbit. Then I'm like, this is boring, and put the book down. I was 14 when it happened, and I really wasn't in the mood to read. And I really wasn't in the mood to read The Hobbit. Uh, a lot of people were trying to pressure me to read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings because the movies were coming out, and they're like, you must, you must, you must. And I'm like, no, and so I didn't actually read any of those. I did, however, see the movie, so that is something. The fourth author is Melanie Ron. I don't really know anything about Melanie Ron other than I own four books by her. So I should probably read them and as a result read her as an author. Um, I have the three books in her Dragon Prince trilogy and the final book in her Dragon Star trilogy. And um, I literally picked these books up because they had dragons on the cover or had dragons in the title. I have a mini list of authors that I haven't read anything by. So we have Frank Herbert, who wrote the Dune series. And we have Cassandra Clare. I haven't yet picked up City of Bones to read, which is actually sitting there on my bookcase. Everyone raves about her Mortal Instrument series and her Infernal Devices series, and I haven't read anything by her. We also have, we also have Garth Nix, who's written, um, like three separate series. I have two books from his Keys to the Kingdom series, Mr. Monday and Grim Tuesday, so I really should probably read them. And then I have a friend who actually raves about his writing, um, one of the other series that has a funny title that I can't pronounce. Also, Maureen Johnson, Libba Bray, Stephanie Perkins, Dan Brown, and Douglas Adams. These are all also authors that at least one of their books is on my TBR list. It's just I haven't gotten around to it. Um, I've been trying to film this video since like noon and it's now past nine o'clock at night. So I guess I won't be filming any of my other videos that I had planned to film today until tomorrow and that is really annoying. Like, it's darkness outside my window right now, which is saddening because there was sun. There was sun. You can let me know some of the authors that you haven't read but probably should or probably want to in the comments below. And until next time, TTYL.